Warren, we've got Lebego Roy here. She had a good season over hurdles last year. The plan is to go chasing though, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. Um, she, yeah, she did really well last year. Um, winning a grade two at Ascot. Um, she, she probably just didn't compete how I thought she would at Cheltenham um, and then Punchestown. Um, but Punchestown, I think she did really well. She was the only horse that really put it up to Fahim. Um, obviously, he, that day was exceptional. I think if we'd ridden her for a place that day, I think she would have uh, probably been in the first four. Um, but we've always wanted to go chasing. Um, the size of her would suggest that there could be improvement to come. You know, she's a 152 rated hurdler, so if she can improve over fences, um, she's going to be top draw. Any idea what, what trip you might be looking at to start her off? Or? I would say we'll start her off over two and a half. Um, the last year, to be fair, she, she won over two and she finished up winning over three, so she's very uh, adaptable trip-wise. Um, but I'd say two and a half, but I wouldn't be surprised if we run her over three by the end of the season. Warren, tell us a bit about this horse, get the pronunciation right. Um, so, uh, this is, he's called Emma Tom. Um, he had one runner uh, in a bumper at Warwick in the spring, uh, where he won impressively. And it's a horse we all liked last, uh, last season. Um, he'll go novice hurling this season. Um, I'd say we'll probably start over two, um, but he'll develop into a more of a staying type, I'd say two and a half. But he's got loads of talent. He's done really well over the summer, um, and I think he's got a very bright future. He's one of your brightest bump horses going hurdling? He is, yeah, he would be. Um, he, he did it very well last year. We expected him to, to take a lot of beating in his, in his run. Um, and he did, and he, he's done well since then, so um, yeah, no, I'd be very hopeful. Missed approach here, Warren, your Cheltenham Festival winner from last season. Um, you got some fancy plans again though? Yeah, so um, the whole season will be geared around the Grand National. Um, he was slightly the plan last year, but he just, uh, his mark didn't get him in, so we uh, couldn't go for that. But he's off 146 at the moment. Um, the possibility that we'll run him, we'll look for a race at the end of October. Um, Cheltenham, and then followed by the beach chase, um, and then we probably won't run him until after the weights come out um, in February, um, and then run him once more before the national. So he'll have three runs before. Um, I would be there as sure as I can be that the hands are fences at the entry. But he's been a star for us, a model of consistency, and obviously to, to get a second Cheltenham Festival winner. Um, he, owes, he owes us nothing here, so uh, fingers crossed that he uh, have a good season again um, and ending up in the Grand National. Yeah, so this uh, he's going to go chasing this year. Um, he's a horse we um, we looked after last season. Um, he, uh, he only ran twice, but won both of them. He's got quite a lazy way of running, uh, but he's a very good jumper. I think he's done very well over the summer, and he could develop into you know really good staying chaser in the future, and especially over novice. Uh, this, this season he, he, he handles very bad ground. Um, I think he, do, I think he is genuine. I think he does try. He just uh, whoever's riding him. It was Richard Johnson last year. He makes them work as much as he has to. But you know he's, he's got a bright future. We've minded him, um, and I could see us reaping the rewards this season. We've got a horse called Everon here, Warren. What Simon and Isaac, one of the big owners. Them green colours. What what can you tell us about this fella? Yeah. So. Um, Anthony Bromley bought this horse um, during the summer. Um, he'd had a few runs and then um, he, his last three runs were all toy. Um, he's still a maiden. Um, he's been placed over fences and over hurdles at Ortoy. Um, he's been here now um, since the middle of July. He's doing very well. Very good job with us. He's very straightforward. Um, they'll probably go down the handicap route um, to start with. Um, but he's a horse I like and it's great to have. For Simon and I, so here, um, and hopefully we can have a uh, plenty of luck together. Um, so yeah, she she was very consistent last year over in her first season over fences. She was never out the first three. Um, she was third in the Bet Bright Chase. She was third in the Topham. Um, she was second twice at Cheltenham behind some very good horses, Miss Parfois being one of them. Um, she's raced 132, but is still a novice. Um, a main target um, being uh, owned by the Whaley Coens as a Grand National. I think she's a proper stayer. Um, and I think that can be a good target, especially as she handled the national fences very well last year.
we will start her off small, we'll find an easy novice chase somewhere and offer Mark. Um, I think she should get a fairly easy opportunity. And then we'll go from there, whether we go the beach chase route or we look somewhere else. Um, but she's, she's definitely done, you know, she's done really well over the summer. And I, I think she can do really well this season. Now this is Western Rider Warren, a horse you've always had, thought the world of. Yeah, um, and yet last year I was slightly disappointed by the, by the end of the season really. I, I think with him, I think his bumper, his bumper season probably took its toll on him last season. Um, he, won, uh, he won two, um, fifth in the Supreme um, and then fifth again at Aintree. Um, he's, I think he's better than that. And, uh, I think his Cheltenham run last year, he beat two grade one winners in Layla. Um, and Is it Tom George's horse? Yeah. Somerville boy? Somerville boy. And uh, I think uh, you know, that, that proved that you know, he, he's well up to those type of races. I would say we'll possibly start him off in the Great Wood. Um, he's off a mark of 145. I think that's a good mark to start off this season and, and I could see him leaving last season well behind and, and moving forward.